Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to Growing Wisdom. And we're standing atop of a little hill here in front of a home. And you know, the folks who own the home wanted to create a nice woodland feel by planting trees on the hillside. So we've done that and we've put in a lot of different trees across the hillside. You know, prior to putting the plantings in, this was completely bare. And what that did was it gave that feeling of the cars being right on top of the house. The cars would go by and you'd hear them and you'd see them and there was no privacy. So by planting the evergreens, we've allowed some privacy to be created. Now, I certainly could have put a row of arborvitae here and that would have completely screened the whole thing and that's an option. You also could have put a fence, but what we chose to do was put several different types of evergreens, giving different textures, different heights, and different colors. So look at the Cripsi here, a nice Camaciparus, but it's yellow and this yellow plant will continue to get larger in width and a lot taller. We'll have this really nice yellow color during the entire year. That's gonna add winter interest as well. So next to that, I put the con color fir. It sort of has this bluish hue to it, and it's very different. The needles are a little wider, and it has a softer look. So further down, we did an earlier planting last year with a lot of different spruces, and those spruces are much greener and also have a different texture. So by putting the con color next to the spruce, we've created a nice look. Now remember, the folks are gonna be viewing this from the house, so I wanted to put something that flowers in here as well. So we have three plants that are gonna flower. Number one is the dogwood, and this will flower in early summer. Tree number two that flowers, the heptacodium. And if you look at the heptacodium, it has this great exfoliating bark. This will flower in very late summer. We're trying to have the flowers be successive on the hillside. So the third flowering tree I put on the hillside is the amelanchia, and the amelanchia is actually the first flowering tree. This will flower in early spring. So in terms of flowering succession, amelanchia, followed by dogwood, followed by heptacodium. Those three flowers will give you a successive flowering period from spring through summer and even early fall. You know, the size of the plants often dictates how expensive they are. You may not have the funds to put in a six and eight or a 10 foot tree. So what do you do? You put in a smaller one. It will grow. This is a golden threadleaf cypress. This is gonna to get to be pretty big over time, but it doesn't look that bad small either. It adds some of that yellow color that I tend to like to add in some of these plants. And because it's smaller, it wasn't as expensive as some of the larger trees. This is a very large area that we've begun to landscape. And you know, it's 200 feet of road frontage here. So 200 feet in which the homeowner wants to feel that they're not so exposed. So we've put in these great evergreens. We've put in some of the deciduous plants. We've put in some perennials. We've put a mix of things in, but notice all the bare ground. There's a lot here that still needs to be done. And that's really one of the big themes I wanna tell you guys is you don't have to do the whole thing in one felt swoop. You can take several years to get an entire plan done. Get the plants that are right for you. Get plants that meet your budget. They will grow. And obviously, no matter what size you get, be sure to leave enough space so that they grow. Don't put them so close together unless they're gonna stay really columnar. If we had put these too close together, they'd start to cause problems with each other in a very short period of time. So my goal here is to give you guys a few ideas on what you could use if you're trying to block something from something else. It may not be a road, it may be an ugly telephone pole, it may be an electrical box, it might be a neighbor that you don't wanna look at. So this is what we did to give this particular homeowner some privacy from that very busy road. I hope it's helped you. Come back every week for all of our videos here at Growing Wisdom.